This is the early bird for November 16, 2023. Inside DC, number one, retaliation against Johnson begins as House leaves early. House leadership canceled votes for the rest of the week and will leave early for Thanksgiving after Freedom Caucus Republicans voted to block a bill that included spending cuts for, to the DOJ and the FBI. Why it matters. The Freedom Caucus began the same retaliation against Johnson they levied against McCarthy prior to his ouster. House leadership canceling votes for the week to leave early for Thanksgiving is likely meant to head off further escalation by Freedom Caucus and give time for division in the Republican conference to cool down. Number two, Manchin absolutely considering a presidential run. Senator Joe Manchin, Democrat, West Virginia, said he is, quote, absolutely, close quote, considering a third-party campaign for president in 2024 ahead of his cross-country tour to, quote, mobilize the middle. Why it matters. Manchin announcing he would retire from the Senate earlier this week and his plan to travel the country are indicators he has effectively begun a third-party run for president. Manchin is more likely to draw votes from Biden than Trump due to Trump's hard floor of support among Republican voters and Democrat base voter dissatisfaction with Biden. Number three, pro-Palestinian protesters and police clash at DNC headquarters. Capitol Police announced that an all house that all house buildings have returned to normal operations after 150 people, quote, illegally and violently, close quote, protested near the Democratic National Committee, that's DNC, headquarters during a pro-Palestinian demonstration. Why it matters. Online rhetoric from radical and revolutionary far-left groups is beginning to resemble the early summer 2020 rhetoric surrounding the death of George Floyd. While the far-left views Israel's invasion of Gaza as egregious, it's unlikely to elicit the level of violence seen during Floyd's rebellion. It, is in, it instead will fuel the political insurgency inside the Democratic Party as the socialist wing looks to next year to primary the more moderate and pro-Israeli members out of the party. Representative Ocasio-Cortez's Political Action Committee, for instance, is running 60 candidates in local, state, and federal elections in the 24 cycle. That's about three times as many as the 2020 cycle. Shift gears. Domestic. Number four. Union reps and activists could accompany OSHA inspectors. Congressman Roger Williams, Republican, Texas, chairman of the House Committee on Small Business, challenged the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, or OSHA, on Wednesday about their new proposed rule on workplace inspections. Why it matters. Small businesses will be the most impacted if this pending OSHA rule stands. Mounting regulatory compliance costs and legal fees could lead to more small business bankruptcies and closures, especially with a slowing U.S. economy. Number five, Goldman Sachs. Dollar strong, recession likely averted. Goldman Sachs chief economist John Halsius, senior economic advisor Dominic Wilson, said the dollar should remain strong in 24 and the U.S. is likely to avoid a recession. Why it matters. America's economy may slow down next year, but it should remain the world's leading advanced economy. This should keep the dollar strong against other currencies and boost Americans' buying power for imported goods. Number six, FAA report, eroding airline safety needs immediate attention. According to an independent safety review team at the FAA, that's the Federal Administ Aviation Administration, inadequate staffing, funding, funding shortages, and outdated tech are contributing to, quote, erosion of safety, close quote, in air travel, and that requires immediate action, according to them. Why it matters. Near misses have increased over the last year, culminating in a collision between two planes at Houston Hobby Airport last month in Texas. The airline industry is also dealing with a counterfeit, counterfeit engine parts scandal. Huerta is correct that the fixes are not going to be short term. Just hiring enough air traffic controllers to make up for current shortages could take up to six years. Meanwhile, the full extent of the proliferation of counterfeit engine parts is unknown, and air traffic control issues resulting in near misses seem to be increasing. Number seven, Nevada may be next Trump trial venue. The Nevada Attorney General's office is quietly investigating Republican operatives and activists, they say, falsely pledged Nevada's electoral votes to former President Trump in 2020, despite Biden winning in the state. Why it matters. With the AG's office investigation process, uh, progressing, it looks like Nevada could be the next state where Trump will face a trial over the 2020 election. The timing coincides with the release of polls showing Trump 10 points ahead of Biden in Nevada, key battleground state 2024. Shifting gears again, geostrategic issues. Number eight, 
U.S.-China Commission train Taiwan on our soil. In the U.S.-China Commission's latest report, one of the key recommendations is to bring Taiwanese troops to the U.S. to train on yet-to-be-delivered weapon systems. Why it matters. These recommendations are a long way off from being implemented, but are being taken by China as provocative. China is likely to use this as justification to disregard any concessions they might give at the APEC APEC meeting this week and continue to escalate in the Western Pacific. Number nine, Biden Z APEC meeting outcome. The Biden G meeting on the sidelines of the APEC meeting in San Francisco had three primary results. Military to military emergency communications lines will be reopened. The Sunnylands Statement, which is a joint statement promising a partnership on climate change, including a return to the Paris Agreement. And number three, Xi demanded the U.S. stop arming Taiwan and stop encouraging Taiwan independence. Why it matters. The Biden administration has taken a victory lap on cooling tensions with China. Meanwhile, the deep structural disagreements, such as the U.S. arming Taiwan and undermining each other's economies, have not been solved. Number 10. U.S. Navy destroyers repel a drone attack. The USS Thomas Hudner shot down a Yemen-launched drone over international waters in the Red Sea. Why it matters. The Pentagon is careful to say the drone was merely headed towards the ship, but not that the ship was targeted. The destroyer likely acted as an air defense screen for uh, the corvettes and the critical in the critical port of Elat, Israel. The verbiage could also be a means to avoid U.S. stepping into a Middle Eastern war when it is ostensibly preparing for a Pacific war. And finally, number 11, Kenya approves police deployment to Haiti. Kenya's parliament approved a U.N. request to deploy 1,000 police officers to Haiti. Why it matters. Kenya faces a quagmire that it's unlikely to solve. A 1,000 Kenyan police may be able to secure strategic sites like the Port of Prince Airport and key hospitals and stop banditry along important stretches of the country's national roads, but Haiti's gang problem is larger than Kenyan police can solve. Expect Haitian migrants to continue making their way to Mexico and into the United States. That concludes the abbreviated early bird for November 16, 2023.